yes another episode we have another question now here is the question listen to this hello tolu something is bothering me my current career is draining me i want to quit my job to focus on a cyber security program i am taking my fear is that when i leave my job i won't have any other source of income until i find another job how would you advise me wow this is loaded now there are several things to consider several things to talk about i have a student that got a job and in the process of talking to this student on a video call i got to understand that she quit her job you know while she was doing my program everybody would not have the same situation that she got a job that quickly does not mean you will also get it at that same time there are things that I need to know that we do not know now number one where are you are you in the US or you are in Canada because I think your location is very very important all right if you are in the US I'm gonna to speak to that but if you're in Canada I really do not know how that would you know apply to you but if you're in the US let, let's talk about that and I think it applies to you if you're in Canada as well that some points I'm gonna make now that will really work for you what is your current financial situation are you in debt do you owe anybody or or you're paying any loan every month number two are you paying rent or mortgage and how much is your rent and how much if you're paying mortgage how much is that these are things that you need to consider number four are you married do you have a spouse does your spouse work or does your spouse spouse not work number five do you have savings okay these are things that we need to know to understand how best to assess your situation and then advise on what best you should do let me take it from number one if you are in the us and you do not owe anyone then i think you're free to some certain extent i'm talking about you not owing credit card you're not owing rent uh of course you're going to pay your rent every month and your mortgage but you're not owing credit card you don't you don't have any loan that you're servicing there's no debt at all also you have a car correct cool and let's say you have a spouse right and your spouse works your financial situation at that point in time is still a lot more better and i'm going to tell you why because even if you do not have job at this moment and your spouse is working you're somewhat safe or secure because i have a friend that is not working right now and his wife is the one practically helping his wife works but he doesn't he's also going through my training as i speak to you right now and they're, they're living fine now if you are alone you do not have spouse and you don't have debt this is what i will tell you to do the only thing you're responsible for which are basic things that you must pay for your car note if you have a car definitely your rent or your mortgage that you have to pay for now if i were in your shoes this is what i would do number one i will budget to understand how much i spend every month so if your rent is two thousand dollars a month your car note is five hundred dollars a month that's two thousand five hundred you have insurance you have um, every other bill let's say that is another one thousand that is thirty five hundred a month worst case scenario you have no savings at all i'm going to use the name john okay i don't say the name of the person that asked this question is john but let's use the name john this is john doe a 35 year old young man you have a car you have an apartment where you parent you don't have a spouse or or you're not married or your spouse is working um you also do not have any loan and now you're considering cyber security what do you do number one budget how much do you spend a month now we've looked at 3500 your rent your car note your insurance every bill that you pay all right including your food 3500 now if you do not have savings what can you do to have 3500 a month without doing nine to five we're going to explore that however i think for you to be considering that you want to quit your job means that you have some savings correct now if you have savings that can take you for six months I would advise that you can quit your job and focus on the training that will help you land job and within four or five months you're going to get your job but let's assume you do not have savings or your savings is not enough 
and you do not want to deplete your savings there are several things you can do in the u.s and that is why i said i don't know if you're in canada maybe this might not apply to you but if you're in the u.s number one you can do uber okay you can do uber weekends and do it evenings evenings and weekends with my last calculation you can make about 1500 in a week if you if you do uber weekend and you do it in the evenings weekdays all right so from morning to afternoon you put your head down you're studying you're reading you're practicing all right for the job that you're looking for you're doing the training you're doing everything you're putting in all your effort so in the evening you take out your car you go walk all right and weekend as well you also work throughout the weekend but weekday from morning to afternoon you're dedicating that time to study so if you make 1500 let's even say you make a thousand right let's say a thousand worst case scenario in four weeks you're gonna make four thousand dollars that is enough to pay your bills to help you stay afloat even though you don't want to touch your savings if that is your case what i would do is this job that will not allow me to pursue a career that will afford me the life that i want i'm going to quit that job and dedicate the next six months to change my life because this is what i've done okay what i'm telling you is what i did as well when i got my job i was an uber driver when i got my first cyber security job as a matter of fact because i took time to study and did everything i got three jobs at the same time and i'll tell you what i did so when i'm working as an uber driver when i'm with a passenger i don't read i don't do anything but as soon as i drop a passenger i play video either youtube or the courses that i've paid for i play them i'll be listening to them listening to them even while i'm working you see i advise you to study from morning till afternoon and you go work evenings right but i was working from morning to evening you know why and even weekend i was working because i didn't have savings I had enormous responsibilities that I needed to cater for. So I was working Monday to Saturday. The only thing that I did that I think might be different from what you would do is when I get back home, I go back to my laptop. At that point, I didn't even have a laptop. I had a desktop. I would go back to my desktop. I had set up a lab at home that I was using to practice. If you remember in my last video, or one of the videos that I did, I mentioned the importance of practicing what you're learning. You can't underrate that, okay? So when I get back home, I will go on my laptop and practice and practice and practice. Mind you, from morning till evening while I was driving Uber, I was listening and watching training. So I did that for four months and I got three jobs at a time. At that time, there was nothing like remote roles. We didn't have remote opportunities. So I couldn't take more than one. I took only one job and those three were my last final stage interviews and I got the three of them. It may interest you to know that when I was driving Uber that year, I said it that this December will be the last time I would drive Uber because I was so sure that I would get a job and it happened. So if I were you, John, John Doe, you're 35, 40, you have a car, you have a spouse or you don't have a spouse, you have savings or you don't have savings. And you know that if you do Uber or DoorDash, there's another job you can do, Amazon. You can do delivery for Amazon. And trust me, I know people who do delivery for Amazon as I speak to you right now. And they make about 1500 a week. And they're still studying. They are in between jobs or they want to change career. So you can do Amazon. That gives you time. So the essence of what I'm telling you right now is you need to quit a job that is taking your time that will not allow you pursue a career that you want and then employ yourself employ yourself as a freelancer what does that mean uber is freelancing amazon delivery is freelancing doordash and uber eats those are freelancing uber will pay you almost the same amount amazon will pay you almost the same amount okay so if you're doing that you have employed yourself and you work in your own time then you can dedicate the rest of those time to rigorous studying and practicing and trust me i know this like i know the back of my palm if you do this for three months you will be doing interviews back to back i am confident about that except you're not committed to it but if you're committed to it, the fact that you're even asking this question means that you're committed to changing your life and if that is the case this is my advice and this is it finally john 35 spouse or no spouse no debt you're not servicing loans and your monthly 
expenses does not exceed four thousand five thousand dollars quit the job employ yourself in any of these freelance jobs and spend enough time to study and trust me in six months you'll be back to thank me if you disagree with everything that i've said i like to hear from you so please put your comment in the comment section write write your point if you disagree i like to read from you i like to learn as well all right and if you also want to ask me questions as well write it in the comment section also if you want my team to invite you to have a live section where we have question and answer put your details below and my team will reach out to you and for you that want to quit your job and you want to get into cyber security there's a domain that is very easy to get into that does not really require you to have any technical background okay that domain is called governance risk and compliance and you are in the right place at the right time congratulations to you because that is part of the things that i teach as a matter of fact that is the major area where i teach people bringing them into cyber security in just 90 days so if that is you you will find a link in the comment section where you can apply and we're going to see if you're a good fit and we'll take you by the hand to help you to becoming a cyber security expert i will see you on the next one bye for now